Let me tell you something. So, so basically, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. But there's money for getting a helper and a nanny and a this and that and the other. So still, you're not, you're not out that way. Okay, you'll clean up, you know, you'll tidy. They are not going to be wanting to have conversations with you about money and finances. They're going to shove you with the money and then they're going to call it a day. You're going back home and then you get a I must be at least getting a minimum of 20k. 20k? I need more than that. Uh, the, they're just popping into Kauai because I just, I just want to grab a quick smoothie before I meet up with Natasha at Pantry. And we're just going to sit and have a good time. I can no? Catch me. Catch me. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to <laughs> Candid with Cat. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for constantly subscribing, joining the family. Love it. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you did, and also watch the ads. It is so important because it helps me so, so much. So now I'm late. To this conversation but i'm always late i'm late to everything <laughs> i'm always late <laughs> that's what she said anyway i'm late to this conversation and i'm just like I'm, I'm loving it i'm loving it i'm loving to see the discourse around this conversation i have my own opinions which i am going to leave for the end because i didn't i didn't i didn't been thinking about it but let's talk about this let's get candid with this and the whole point of candid with cat is we're candid about it so now i'm going to share my opinions whether you like them agree with them don't disagree disagree with them whatever that's fine we're, we're we're all different people and we all have different opinions and we're diverse and that's fine so what is the stay-at-home girlfriend business Okay, so everybody's starting to talk about the stay-at-home girlfriend, okay? These are the stay-at-home hands that are just like, they, they, they're at home, man. They don't work, okay? They don't work, but, um, you know, they're living lavish, okay? Quality of life and time, and those are the, the key words that are always thrown around with this whole stay-at-home girlfriend business, right? But the quality of life is better than your normal a, a, a girlfriend who is just unemployed, who is not working, right? <laughs> Right. <laughs> so the stay-at-home girlfriends do the Pilates, they do the spa treatments, they do the all the wonders and the wonderful things um, on their person's their paycheck. You know what I'm saying? The money is provided by their mans or their partners or whatever, and they just live lavish while also being the homemaker and taking care of the home and all of that. But at the same time, the quality of life is a little bit more advanced than someone who is in a relationship and a lady who is just unemployed and does housework during the day while your man is out and whatever, but you just don't get the opportunity to go horseback riding or doing Pilates or eating acai bowls and, and protein shakes and, and, and doing lunches and brunches with the girls and not having to worry about money, right? So you don't get that opportunity. So when you're just an unemployed hun who's... Okay. 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 <sighs> 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 So this was me trying to understand this concept and, 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 and trying to understand it. And let me not even lie, I'm a corporate hun. I am I, I'm working, I'm very much independent and I love that about me and that will never change. However, I am very much divided about the stay-at-home girlfriend business, okay? But I'm gonna leave my thoughts, opinions, 
and uh, uh, all of that to the end of the video because I want to hear what you guys said. So as always, with Candid with Cat, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should because this is the platform where I give my followers and subscribers and all of that an opportunity to integrate with the video. They mention their opinions and what they think about it and all of that and we have a conversation about it over a lacquer drunk. So I didn't feel like having whiskey today. So I was just like, no, let me just have a, just have a one savvy, you know? So here we go. This lady says, so yiki, the thoughts get sana. So she's, she's basically ready for this video. Okay. Another lady says, unless we sign somewhere that I will be a stay at home girlfriend and DZ, who trusts men like that? Let me tell you something. That it's me. Unless there is a legal documentation that says, Hori, you are going to be a stay-at-home girlfriend. This is what you're going to get monthly. This and that and the other and blah, blah, blah. And I am protected in this whole thing. Man, I ain't even trying to come to that party unless there is a legal binding document. I'm going to be a stay-at-home girlfriend, but I'm going to be smart about it. Okay. What allowance? And she says about the allowances, what allowance? Why is his salary not coming into my account and then I give him an allowance? Hey, come on, come on, be sensible now. Come on. I mean, who wouldn't? She, let me not even lie. I would be mad happy if Diesel's salary came into my account and then I'm just like, what you need? What you need? You need to pay the bills. How much that gonna be? Okay. And then I'll give you that. And then what, what else are you going to need? You're going to need to be, you know, going out with the boys, a little bit of spending money. You're going to need that. Okay, that's fine. Everything else stays right here. <laughs> In my dreams. Okay, anyway, but we hear the chat. It's a joke. Shop. Personally, I want the girlies to be smart about it. If they do, put some money away or start something of your own. Honestly, this is where I'm at. So te te technically, I don't have the pro a problem with someone being a stay-at-home girlfriend. The issue is be smart about it. Oh, say get to a to a body, man. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you learn something from this? Don't say, oh, no, you know what? It's nice. You know, I'm just going on a Pilates. And then tomorrow I'm going to go uh, to a spa. And then tomorrow I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm just going to go on a, on a, just a quick short left break. And then tomorrow after that, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go and, 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 and go to the gym. And after the gym, I'm going to have a acai. And then after that, I'm done. Meh, what are you doing with all this access to this money? Espe Listen, the stay-at-home girlfriend trend thing going on, the conversation and the discourse around it is a worldwide thing. But we're in South Africa. If they so now we need to talk about third. We need to talk about the economical, demographical, and economical situationship that you are in, in this country, where... Are stay-at-home girlfriends really a thing? Okay. Are they? Are they really? Hmm. Or do you just live with your boyfriend and you're currently in between jobs? Or live with your partner and you're currently in between jobs? Anyway. Couples should discuss and agree upon financial matters that works with that works for both partners. Let me say something about this. That is true. That is true. But when you're at a stay-at-home girlfriend, you're not having any conversation with your man about finances because, or your partner about finances because they are giving you what they feel you deserve so that you can live lavish and maintain the home and become a great homemaker and go out shopping for things of the home and in the meantime, you can also enjoy your life and live your best life. But what they're not going to do is involve you in their financial affairs. I can tell you that for free. I'm going to be sitting here giving you 20,000 Rand a month as my stay at home partner. Okay. And then you still want to have a say in my money. Never there.
<clears throat> if you think about it, there is no person, man or woman, hetero, homosexual, LGBTQIA plus relationship where the person who is financially giving you all this money while you sit at home and make the home but also have opportunities to live lavish and whatever, they are not going to be wanting to have conversations with you about money and finances. They're going to shove you with the money and then they're going to call it a day. <laughs> You can catch me three streets away, get out of here. An educated stay-at-home girly, maybe. Listen. Keep saying that. That's great. Keep saying it. Just keep saying it. Keep saying it out loud. Hence why I'm saying you can be a stay-at-home girlfriend, but if you're not educated, then educate yourself. Okay? With that money, educate yourself. If you are already educated, amen. And this is the life that you want to do or live or whatever and this, this you're comfortable with, amen, do the absolute most. But be smart about it. Relationships do not survive on love alone. There is a lot of other things that come into play when it comes to relationships, when it comes to stay-at-home girlfriends and stay-at-home wives and all of that. And this is where I, I come in. This is where I'm saying for me, I don't mind being a stay-at-home wife. 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 Okay, there's a difference because there's legal documentation in place that will protect me should there be an issue. If you're going to be uh, requesting me to be your stay-at-home wife, why am I having a prenup? That will be the first question I'll ask you, Rick. You are saying to me, no, nah, man, baby, come on. I'm trying to have you be my stay-at-home wife, man. Take the kids to school. Make sure the house is okay. And, and with someone who is financially set like that, making sure the house is okay is basically you making sure it looks livable, it's nice, it's pretty, you're feeding him, whatever, all of that, right? But there's money for getting a helper and a nanny and a this and that and the other. So still, you're not, you're not out that way. How it's a wash in me. Well, understand how Hunami come and come come out to my father. How can you first there? You're not washing the windows if you're a stay at home wife to a financially set person or stay at home girlfriend. You're not doing all those things. Okay? You'll clean up, Nyana, Tasola, Tafo, Lenyana, you know, you'll tidy. Well, one, 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 you'll tidy the house because Ndom Zotwa is not here today. Yeah, understand? Because Mas Chaba is not here today. Because whoever is not here today, they've asked to take a week off, madam, because I need to go home. That's fine. You'll tidy. <laughs> because there will be money to get a nanny and a helper. Same with a wife. The only difference is the wife has a bind binding contract, a legal contract. Marriage is not just a love contract. Marriage is a financial and legal binding contract. So you need to understand with a wife, she's got protective measures. Yeah, understand? There are things that will protect her should the thing come to a Yeah, if, yeah, if I can, no, no. So basically you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. There's being in a relationship with somebody and you're out of a job and they are working and then you're just helping around the house, you know, there's no ntombutsotwa to come help clean up the house for you or whatever. So you doing all those things. Things that you normally did growing up. Things that you would typically do in your own house if you had one. You know what I'm saying? So please, stay at home girlfriend so as in he isn't committed to you. What then happened when he moves on? Ding, ding, ding. Ooh, Jesus. Because in that time when you were busy living your best life, living lavish, doing all these wonderful things, doing Pilates. And I, I just love Pilates because that was the one that kept on coming up and going to the spa and doing this and doing that and the other. At that time, you were living like you couldn't care. Damn. And then this person decides, nah. At this point, I'm trying to make Naledi my stay-at-home girlfriend. I'm done with making Katleo my stay-at-home girlfriend, so bitch, bye. <sighs> this is all I
When I am not like oh in the meantime, while you're trying to get your life sorted, okay, everybody gotta go home at some point. So in the meantime, while you're trying to get your life sorted, you're going back home and then seven busy return soldier game match. Because now you didn't think about this thing or okay, when I'm with this person, let me do things, let me have contingencies for when it does not work out. There is no relationship with a stay-at-home girlfriend that has a binding document. The ones that do, good. Good on you, sister. I must be at least getting a minimum of 20K. 20K? She, I need more than that. Ah, I'm just tired. If you're gonna ask me to be a stay-at-home girlfriend, <laughs> 20! Uh, yeah? I'm gonna know. 20 fella! <laughs> Not in South Africa. Never there. There must be a separate but oh, 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 oh. I, I read too soon. There must be a separate budget for the household. So 20k just for you. Monthly 20k just for me. Nah, still not enough for me. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm sorry. It's not enough for me, but fine. Each to their own. It's not safe. People change. Uh, you don't want to be left broke when the relationship is over. Let me tell you something about these stay-at-home girlfriends and why this thing has started trending. Okay? It seems like I'm throwing my opinions in there while we're talking, so that's fine. Let me tell you something about this. These stay-at-home girlfriends and how this thing started trending, they are working. Okay, you can be a stay-at-home girlfriend and no one needs to know that you're a stay-at-home girlfriend except the people that are around you and around your life. But once you start publicizing that stuff and you're putting it on TikTok and, 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 and YouTube and Instagram and doing reels and things and all of that, you're working. You're not just because... It's actually, in its own crazy way, a smart way for you to make my sentema koina nyana. Because if a, if a brand that deals with household stuff, right? Cleaning up the household stuff and all of that. Start seeing your stay-at-home girlfriend videos where you're cleaning up the house and you're doing this and the other. What's that brand going to do? And if they can see that you have traction, you've got numbers, quality of video, all that stuff, they're going to reach out to you. It becomes a job. So basically what they are doing is a JAB. You can, you can, because that is, once you start to content prioritize it, content you call it, as content, it's a job. Because now you're putting up a camera, you're putting things, you're laying things, you're doing this, you're doing that. It's a job. It's no longer just being, you just took your life and you decided that you're going to put it online. But things could potentially come of that. It's a JAB or a spana. You're not just, ah, come on guys. Stay at home girlfriends who are in healthy relationships are very lucky. Ding, ding, ding. Yup. Because if you look at this, what part of being a stay at home girlfriend Okay, being content with it, being quite happy, what, what, no problems at all, everything is going exceptionally well, can give off the fact that you're in a healthy relationship. Being in a relationship where you have no say, you understand? If that person comes back and says, yo, 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 this month I had a tricky month, eh? I had a tricky month, instead of getting that, um, uh, that 200k that I normally get, I got uh, 80. It's going to be tricky even for you as the stay-at-home girlfriend. It's a very classist thing. This basic stay-at-home girlfriend thing and then somebody sitting at home and unemployed and in a relationship where they don't get to do these uh, 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 wonderful uh, my goodness, these, 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 these wonderful, quality, uh, excellent activities, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the Pilates, the yoga, the, the just popping into Kauai because I just, I just want to grab a quick smoothie before I meet up with Natasha at Pantry and we're just going to sit and have a good time. No, guys, honestly. I'm not being funny. That's just 
what's being projected, right? I'm not trying to be weird about it or whatever. That's what's being projected in the content space of stay-at-home girlfriends, especially in the context of this here country. And, you know, the funny thing is when they say a better quality of life, really? We'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. What defines a better quality of life? Is it because you get an opportunity to, to do Pilates three times a week and, and do holidays every two months and whatever? Does that constitute as a better quality of life? What defines quality? Let's sit here and talk about that. Let's think about that. Okay? Shop. So, you get, I love the idea, but saws and never giving any, never giving uh, any man such power over my life. 2023, you believe men? Life, any man, any woman, any partner, okay? Whether they are gender, non-binary, whether it's, it's, it's a lesbian couple, whether it's a gay couple, whatever. Giving another person that much power over your life. Let me tell you something. One of the things that I love to say a lot about when someone disrespects me or someone is condescending towards me or says horrible things or whatever, I get the power to say, I don't care a damn because that person had regularly penty. Get your penty, penty. That person doesn't do anything. There is something very powerful in knowing that you can do it yourself. Right? There's something very powerful in note, man. Let me hang on. What do you even mean, bro? There's something really powerful in knowing that you can do it yourself. Even when someone decides to disrespect you, you can easily get out of there, get into your car, go to your house, go to your GAAB the next day, and be like, what, what you not finna do? I refuse to nag life and then nag a person. It couldn't be me. There is a power in being able to say things like that and not being dependent on someone for your next meal or being dependent on someone for your next nail appointment or being dependent on someone for the lavish clothes that you wear. There is a power in that. Nothing. There is nothing like it. There is nothing like a power that says, I can do it myself. People who often make that kind of money are not the easiest people to deal with. They're not the easiest people to be around, okay? There could be the love. There could be all the other things. There could be the this. But when that person goes off at you, how much power do you have knowing what the current situation is at home and that you're a stay-at-home girlfriend? How much power do you actually really have to actually respond and say, what you're not going to do is talk to me like that? Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye. I'm just saying. Rather let the guy give you the money because they want to and not as a demand or an expectation. Exactly. A person should give you a money because they want to. Because they feel like, oh, it's your birthday tomorrow. Here you go, baby. Boom, boom. Aye, aye. Aye. Honey, I'm going out with my... Um, Girlfriends, oh, okay, uh, cheers 2,000. Hey. Whether you have it or you don't, that's not the point. They're giving it to you because they want to give it to you. They're not giving it to you because you don't got a money. They, you need it. You need it. Uh, it's not nice. It's not fun. It doesn't hit the same. It really doesn't hit the same. Anyway, Sabaweli boyfriend, cat. I'd love to have a boyfriend, cat. Inditi skaka se allowance ntombi you but ke sana ndia ke zamna so it won't work you see <laughs> this is the thing she's basically saying I'd love to have that kind of life right but then the problem with me is that I'm a, I'm, I'm I'm here bro I'm crazy as hell I'm crazy as hell. I'm crazy. It's soon, dear guys, again, that it's me. That it's me. I 
I take a lot of pride and a lot of whatever in being able to speak my mind in a relationship and tell Diesel when he is wrong and say that, ah, 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 ah. Okay, and feel like I can joke around with him, clown around with him, do whatever, tell him when I'm dissatisfied about something without having to worry that he's going to cut me off. Add lame to the list. Add whack to the list. I cannot, no? Catch me. Catch me. The, the theoretical understanding of what a th of, of what a stay-at-home girlfriend is or what we are seeing looks incredible. It looks lavish. It looks fantastic. It just looks like a dream, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? It really just looks like a, an awesome dream, theoretically. However, there's a lot of things that happen within the dynamics of that relationship that we do not see from the stay-at-home girlfriends. There's a lot of things. You cannot tell me that that is a 100% healthy relationship. I'm sorry, no. But also, it looks incredible. Who doesn't want to wake up on plush, white, 3,000 thread count Egyptian cotton seats, uh, sheets and not do anything and just wake up to just make sure that you look good all the time, go and buy new clothes, go to the gym, do what this, do what this, you know, look after yourself, look after your family home, even though uh, Tomzotwa is there to clean the house and all of that, blah, blah, blah. Because I ain't trying to, I do not believe that these women who are stay-at-home girlfriends are moving the couch to get out the dust. Here for it. There's another lady who says, here for it, use it. Look good, but also bank that money, honey, in case it don't last. Leave with a bag. Ding, ding, ding. Nah, that's all I'm saying. Start a business. Bank that money. Do something. That's what I'm saying. Bank that money. Start a business. Do something constructive with all this money that you're getting. You cannot tell me who you are given 50K a month and you blow. Even the 20K. Even the 20K. You can, nah, 20K you can blow, hey? As a stay-at-home girlfriend who needs to look good all the time and go to the gym and do this and eat right and clear, hey amen, things add up. But you cannot tell me getting 50K a month hmm. and all of it, you're just chowing it every month. When I start like a zero, zero accounting, hey, wait, now, hey, wait, now, cho, nice. What happens when the relationship goes sour? Who picks up from him? Exactly. And here's the thing. We live in South Africa. How many, what kind of men, what kind of circles, what kind of partners, men, whatever, circles do you need to be exposed to? Circles that you need to be running within to get a man, who's a secondary partner who's going to do the same thing that the previous one did. And in South Africa, how many of those circles do we actually really have? Uh, uh, you, here. <laughs> Listen to me closely, right? How many of those circles do we actually have? How many, you need to be around money. That is the sad part about life. You need to be around money to be exposed with people with money. Do you understand what I'm saying? You need to be going to the polo. You need to be invited to the Rev Coco polo. So that you are, in, ah, even that one. So that you are invited to people with access to that kind of guap. So that you can potentially meet someone with that kind of guap who will sustain the life that you were living in the previous relationship. Then again, you can meet someone with that kind of guap but does not believe in that kind of uh, uh, setup. That kind of content. That's uh, that content. Staying at home and being cute all day. Yes and yes. Even me. I agree to staying at home and being cute all day. Who doesn't want to stay at home and be cute all day? Who doesn't want to wake up at 9 instead of waking up at 5 or 6 to get ready to go to work? Come on now. Okay? 
Yes and yes, but I don't want to be a sloth. I want to have at least a degree. Have some sort of ed- education. Have something you can fall back on. And the thing is, you can have an education. But in this here context of this country, where jobs... Who wants to finish off my sentence? It's another word for laziness. Ladies need to leave Instagram and go back to reality. Here's the problem with um, the stay-at-home content that's been created on TikTok and Instagram. The people who are naturally consuming that content are 14, 15, 60. 20, 21, 22. These are people who are still working. Ah, working. These are people who are still studying. So, are you sure that this is the message you want to be projecting? This is a problem even as independent women. Maybe we need to be projecting on our social media platforms that you can have a quality of life and time on your hands and still be independent. Maybe that's the message we need to project. Now, relying on another person without a source of income is dangerous. Absolutely. And I agree. So it's the message that I'm going to leave it at this because my battery is about to die. But it's the message that is being projected. And to the people who are upcoming and coming up and, and, and all of this, I don't know how wise this message that's being communicated is. Especially in the context of our country. Stay-at-home wife, absolutely. Stay-at-home girlfriend, never third. Even as a stay-at-home wife, you can be a stay-at-home wife, but have businesses and do other things, but also have the backup and support of a legal document. But a stay-at-home girlfriend? I don't know. I'd love to hear your opinions on this. I'm going to go. My battery camera light thing is flashing. So I'm going to leave it at this for today. Thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. Thank you so much. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe, and definitely watch the ads as well. I'll see you in the next video. Also become a member. There's videos on my membership space that you would love to see. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of your heart and your mind. And I'll see you very, very soon. Thank you. Ah, sayonara.